Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can run multiple businesses in G Suite uh, by just paying for one license. So I have this scenario today where I have three different businesses. In your case, you can even run 10, 20, 30 businesses, the same method that I'm going to show you today. So that's my uh, three uh, different uh, websites. Uh, goldiearora.com, auroragoldie.com and anotherbusiness.auroragoldie.com I'm just making them up but that might be your scenario where you run multiple businesses each of your business has a different website and what you really want is that you should be able to send and uh, receive emails uh, in a personal manner so if someone is sending you an email to your business one uh, dot com domain you should be able to send and receive from the same domain and same case for your other businesses as well so the first option is that you can you know create or buy one license for each of your businesses or domains uh, which means you will be you will have three businesses you will have three different licenses like one each and then you will end up paying if you go with G Suite basic which is five bucks a month you will end up paying fifteen dollars if you go with G Suite business you will end up paying thirty bucks a month uh, with the scenario that I have here but in case if you follow the method which I'm going to show in this video you will be able to save 65% and instead of 15 and 30 you will be end up paying just five dollars and ten dollars based on whether you go with this basic edition of G Suite or the business one so let me give you some context of what we are going to do so we will have this first domain which is goldera.com I will have this as primary domain uh, for which I will buy one license and pay five bucks to Google and these two businesses, businesses or these two domains I will register to Google as secondary domains and then I will create nicknames or alias email addresses on these two so that I will have three different emails uh, so for example my first email is gonna be Goldie at goldieerora.com. The second email is going to be uh, this one, and then the final email is going to be another business dot goldie.com. But instead of paying one license for each, I will just have one license, create these two as email aliases and we will also configure something called send mail as so that when we reply we can reply from any of these three email addresses so let's go ahead and uh, get that started the first uh, one is the primary domain which i have already registered with google so if you, i go to my admin console if i click on more controls and click on domains I already have this one as my primary domain okay so if you haven't uh, set up your primary domain yet I will put the link below this video for the step-by-step -step video series guide that I have so that you can watch and create your primary domain as per uh, Google's best recommended practices once you have your primary domain in uh, you will take your second one which is your secondary domain copy this from here and then you will go back to admin console and either click from here on add a domain or in the top bar just search for domain first one will be add new domain click on that and you will be landing the same screen and then click on add a domain or domain alias I have a different video which shows what are the differences between these two and which one you should go for but in most of the cases I would recommend you to go with add another domain instead of going with alias domains and then here you will enter the domain now you don't see this continue and verify domain ownership it's grayed out so the workaround is just give it a space and it's here and then give it give that space back it seems I've put the wrong domain so it's actually Aurora Goldie A -R -O -R -A -G -O -L -D com. okay so I'll click on continue and verify ownership because Google wants to make sure that I'm not a spammer and I actually own this domain there are different ways to verify the domain ownership but I'll go with the 
txt which means I will need to copy this txt record and then I need to go in the DNS where I have this aroda.goldie.com so mine is with GoDaddy and I've already logged in there uh, you know wherever your is just log in there go to your DNS panel and then add a new record this will be txt host name should be either at the rate or the name of your domain based on where you have your DNS. GoDaddy accepts at the rate, so I'll just put that. And TXT value is gonna be the one which we copied from admin console. Once you have it, just click on save. We have created the TXT record. We'll go back to Google and say you can verify. So it seems it was pretty quick. I just uh, had a couple of tries and it was verified. So I'll click on continue. Now our domain is verified, but to make sure that we can receive emails on this domain, we also need to create something called MX records, which stands for mail exchanging records. And I have a separate tutorial on that. I will put the link below, but essentially what you need to do is go to your uh, uh, DNS and create MX records and point them to Google Mail servers so that any email which comes to this domain can point to Google Mail servers and Google then can send it to your mailbox. So make sure that you don't have any existing MX records. If you do, you need to delete them or like increase their priority. So I'll go to MX, hostname will be at the rate, values will be uh, so you will have the values of T Suite mail servers or Google mail servers. Priority will be, let's say this one is one. The second one should be five. Sometimes this would already say an ex unexpected error, but it actually takes. your records so I will not be worried about it I'll just keep on creating mine I'll create all three so I'll create all five MX records so the next one is priority 10 GMX4 and the last one is also 10 and this time it's and save it. Now if I click cancel and refresh I guess all the MX should be there and they are. So I've created the MX records again. Uh, again I already have a very detailed tutorial on how to create MX records so I'll put the link feel free to watch it. Okay so now uh, this domain is kind of done though we can do a bit uh, more things like creating SPF records and DKIM but I will not go into that much details I have the whole series on uh, that topic so this domain is ready and now what I'll do is I'll go to my users here I'll go to the primary license or primary user that I bought from Google so I'm only paying for this one license and you will click on account under account you will see a place where you can create aliases okay so you will click on alias and you will say uh, Goldie but from here instead of your primary domain you will choose the secondary domain that we just created which is aurora.goldie.com make sure it's selected and then you will click on save so now what we have here is one more email address on our another business or another domain on which we can receive emails okay so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I should be able to send emails from this email address as well which is my second uh, business or the domain so I'll copy this email address and I'll click on Gmail once I log into Gmail I'll go to my Gmail settings Gmail settings I'll go to accounts and your accounts you will click on this add another mail address 
here you will be pasting the email address that you just created on your secondary domain now you should have created any by any name the domain name would be your uh, secondary domain but name can be any when you create this and here also you can change uh, the display name if you want in my case uh, I am going with my name so this name here is fine now here I won't go into much details but make sure you unclick on treat as an alias and then click on next step and Google will send you the verification on this email click on send now because we have the MX records pointed so ideally that email should be coming into your mailbox here right there so you will copy this and then uh, where is that window paste that here and verify it okay so now what we have essentially is now when you compose an email you will see that email address as well that you just created so now what we have achieved so far is let's go back to our spreadsheet so now we are only paying google for this one license this one but we have also created this email address and if anyone sends an email to this email ID then we are going to receive that in our primary mailbox and when we compose an email uh, we should be able to compose from any of the two uh, addresses that we have also if you go back to Gmail settings click on accounts and here these two emails under that you see when replying to message reply from the same address the message was was sent to or you can always choose your current uh, primary email address so that it's always sent from this one in my case uh, I will I will go with this one because if someone is sending uh, at my second business for example aurora.goldie.com then I want that reply should be sent from the second business email address instead of the default first business so this is how you configure uh, multiple businesses with one G Suite license now the third one is that I should also need to have this email address so that I can send and receive from this as well but the whole setup is going to be as same as I did for this one so I don't think I should you know increase the length of this video because you can simply repeat the process the way I did it for this domain in case you are stuck somewhere or if you need any help feel free to write it to me or just uh, put your comments below and i'll be happy to help thank you so much guys